If you're currently running Google search ads for your business and you're looking for ways to decrease your costs and increase your sales, then keep watching this video. What is up everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my YouTube channel where I share everything on how to build, grow and scale an online business. And to be more specific, I share a lot of strategies when it comes to media buying, which is generating traffic online. Now, over the past several videos, I've obviously went into detail about Google ads and more specifically, Google search ads. And if you're looking to actually start using Google search ads to generate traffic, leads, and sales for your business, then make sure that you watch this video here first, then watch this video next. Now, at the same time in this video, I'm going to actually share with you what your next steps are when you have your search ads up and running for your business. But before we get into it, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So now when it comes to Google search ads, the way that you actually analyze the data and where to find these data are going to be far different than Facebook ad, YouTube ad, Twitter ad, you name it. Because there are additional reports that you actually need to see to make the right decision for your business. In fact, these strategies are proven to cut your ad costs down while increasing your profit and sales almost right away. So with that, let's actually dive right in into what are the strategies when it comes to optimizing for your search ads campaign. So first strategy is to look at the search term report. Now, when you set up your Google ads, you're gonna be asked to actually provide a keyword list, which I talked about this many times in my previous videos. In fact, I specifically told you to actually go after the exact match and phrase match, which I explained why, again, in my old videos. But here's the deal. You might be wondering, well, Fred, you already have told specifically Google the keywords that you want your ad to show up What's this search term report for? Well, the answer is simple. The search term report is the actual real search queries that a person is searching for to trigger your ads. So yes, you can tell Google specifically what keywords you want your ad to show up, but sometimes or oftentimes, it's not gonna be the exact search query that your ad actually shows up. Now, with the search term report, you get to actually look specifically at what search query actually triggered your ad. And from there, all you have to do is to actually go through the list and eliminate the keyword and search queries that are actually producing low results. Then all you gotta do is to keep the ones that are most profitable and instantly you are obviously going to obviously make a lot more money. So with that, the search term report is also really used for us to actually see what are people actually searching for in the Google search so that we can actually see what are some of the opportunities that we can actually create a specific asset to actually tailor a specific message and also landing page to them. So again, first is look at the search term report. The second strategy is very simple, is to rapid test your ads. Now, when it comes to Google search ads, it's very different than Facebook. You don't have to worry about the learning phase. You don't have to worry about affecting the algorithm or the learning machine. When it comes to Google search ads, it's simply having your ad in front of these people who are specifically searching for a keyword or a problem or a review of a product and you simply have your ad shown to them. So ultimately, the message that you have that generates the highest click-through rate, you are obviously going to get a much lower cost per click at 
the same time. So when it comes to Google search ads, all you really have to do is to constantly test new ad copy and actually get your click through rate up so that you actually drop your cost per click. Now, once again, you can actually do it directly in the asset and it will not affect anything when it comes to the performance. Because after all, when it comes to Google search ads, we're not relying on the learning machine or algorithm to actually optimize for us. We are doing it manually. So all you have to do is to constantly beat your highest converting ad and get your higher click-through rate for your ads. And for us, we actually run a minimum of three different ads under each ad group. I always say ad set, it's supposed to be ad group. And we let it run and we continuously take the best converting one and make modification to increase the click-through rate. And you'll be surprised, a couple work change makes a drastic difference. Now, strategy number three is to look in the competitive analysis. You'll be surprised on what you actually see in here. Inside the competitive analysis, you actually get to see your ad in comparison to the same competitors that are bidding on the same keyword as you. You get to actually see if you're always on above them, what your search impression shares are, if you actually have more impression or if they have more impression, or if they're actually always outbidding you and they're generating the most traffic. With this competitive analysis, it's golden because if you constantly see a competitor of yours that are constantly beating you and that are outbidding you and getting the highest and the most amount of impression, you know that they're doing something right. Guess what? If that happens, just funnel hack them and go search in that keyword and go through the funnel to actually see what makes them able to actually afford a higher cost per click and always outbidding you in the actual auction. And listen, this competitive analysis report is so golden that it will provide you so much detail. In fact, you will instantly see who your competitors are and actually get to have you know what's happening so that you can actually modify your offer or even your actual ad to really increase the performance of your search campaign. So all in all, these are three major items that we look at. Now there are specifics like quality score and going into really breaking out the ad groups and all those other things. But in a nutshell, these three different strategies will always and instantly help you increase more sales, drop your costs, and also have better performance when it comes to Google search ads. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you comment right down below. And if you want more Google training, let me know right down in the comment box. Now on top of that, listen, if you want the help of my team and I to help you build an e-commerce business from scratch using our proven strategy, there's a link right in the video description that you can check out that you can actually join our Shopify approved e-com challenge. So with that being said, I hope that this entire Google Ads tutorial really helped you out. If there's any questions, feel free to drop down a comment right down below. And at the same time, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new training, you're gonna get notified right away. Till next time.